Hey guys, so uh, this time I decided to make a weather station uh, and it's an ambient weather station. Let me be precise about that because people will correct you on YouTube for anything you say um, <laughs> and we love it. So anyways, I, I, I made this ambient weather station and you know, normally you see these, they're, they're kind of up and down and they mount on a wall. And uh, you know, I wanted one that was a little bit different. I wanted one that would sit on a desk or a bookshelf. Um, so, and you'll see these as well. And this is kind of a, I just drew inspiration from several of them. Uh, this one has a thermometer, a barometer, and a hygrometer. Um, it's a one board project. It's uh, made out of oak and uh, no tricky glue ups or joinery on this one. I did do chamfers across the bottom of the pads as well as along the top. Um, and that's, that's about it. That's about all I gotta say. Oh, one more thing. You can find links on my website at woodlogger.com where I found the instruments as well as information about other projects and things that I've got going on. It's a great website. Tell your friends, go there now, click lots of ads. <laughs> really, you'll love it. It's a great site. So uh, anyways, here's a video of, uh, of how I made this and uh, we'll see you online. Hey guys, so on my uh, my weather station that I'm building, I've, I've got my uh, two boards of um, one by six, um, oak and what I've decided to do is instead of buying a, a two inch thick piece of uh, oak I'm just gonna um, kind of edge glue these together and make one solid piece so to start with that I mean it's pretty simple um, I'm just gonna use glue And then what I thought I would use, I've got this little glue spreading tool. I'd use that to just kind of spread it around. And then I'll just put this board right on top of it. All right, well, I think I've got this, this clamped up pretty good. I, I may go back and put maybe another clamp or two on the side. Um, and I'm going to let this dry for at least a, well, I, yeah, I think I'm going to let it dry for at least an hour. Okay, well, I've got my glue up. It's all finished. And I went ahead and I took this over to the table saw and cut this down so that I would have it at about a four inch width. And uh, next up, what I wanted to do was I wanted to cut a small arch in the middle and I wanted to do that for a couple reasons one is just sort of a decorative look and then the other thing um, is from the bottom I actually kind of want to draw holes into where the uh, weather instruments are going to fit it allows a little more air to flow into there and I think I'll just get a, a better reading so I'm going to come in about two inches on each side And my board is about 10 inches long. So I'm gonna go right in the middle here to about five. And then I'm actually gonna come up about, uh, I think I'm gonna come up about a half an inch. And then to mark my, um, kind of mark my arch, you know, I've done, I've done the traditional thing where you, where you take, you know, uh, kind of a flimsy piece of, uh, wood scrap and you kind of bend it. The only thing about that is, is you almost have to have a second set of hands, you know, one person to kind of hold it, another person to mark it. So what I've been using lately, it's a little goofy. Um, I've been using the tennis racket. You know, it's perfect for really shallow arches. You can kind of count the strings in so that you know where your center point is on the racket. And I just kind of lined up. So I know I want to hit uh, both my sides. Again, this works really well for shallow arches. Sometimes you can just use a bowl uh, for slightly deeper ones. So there it is. You can see where I've got my arch kind of made. Um, well, I don't know how well it's going to show up on the video, but um, I've got my arch. You know, the, the racket works pretty well. And I'm going to head over to the uh, bandsaw and go ahead and cut this out.
So I've got the arc now on my weather station the way I want it, and I've kind of got the feet that are going to kind of, the feet are actually just kind of set up against it. Now I've just got to drill the holes where the actual instruments are going to go. So there'll be a, there's a thermometer, a barometer, and a hygrometer. And so I'm going to come down about one and three quarters inch, and then I'm going to space them three inches apart. So I'm going to head over to uh, the uh, drill press now and uh, drill these out. So one other feature that I decided to do was to uh, run a chamfer across the uh, the top of the weather station. And then I also decided to uh, do the, uh, the bottom foot pads um, as well. And so when I'm doing this, I, I like to do uh, with the grain first on both sides, and then you do the uh, kind of the cross grain, and it helps the void tear out if you, uh, if you do it that way. So when it came to sanding, I decided to go ahead and do that ahead of time before I did the assembly. I think, it, I think it's just easier on smaller projects if you can uh, get that out of the way. And uh, for for what I did on this, um, you know, I, I'm using oak boards here. I, I went in and went through all the grits, um, just kind of a standard uh, 60 grit, um, a 100, and then a, um, a 180. Okay, so I've got all my holes drilled for uh, my weather station. Next up, I need to glue up the top to the middle. And to do that, I'm just going to... I'm going to do any kind of fancy uh, joints or anything. I'm just going to do straight glue. I'm going to apply that right there. I'm going to, uh, use my little glue brush that I got. That'll do nicely. Okay. I'm just going to try and eyeball it as best as I can. I think I can, I can get this pretty close to the mark. Okay, well I've got my, my top on now. I'm just going to repeat the same process and put uh, my feet on the bottom. Well, I've got my piece. It's all finished now. I've got my uh, um, the feet pads. They're all dry. The glue is. I've got this done. I've sanded it. Last thing I'm going to do is stain it and then I'm going to seal it um, after that. And uh, for the stain, I'm just using a um, kind of a traditional uh, golden oak. I've used this before quite a bit, and I, I kind of like it. I mean, for, for going on a, this is kind of more of like a mantelpiece or maybe a bookshelf. I think it'll, I think it'll look real nice. Well, you know, I've got everything pretty much done. I, it turned out, turned out great. Uh, I put a, a layer of... Um, stain on it, uh, kind of a classic oak stain, and then uh, just a, a layer of uh, sealer on top of that. So all I've got to do now really is just put my uh, weather instruments in each of the slots and I'm done. And I, you know, I found the, the weather instruments that I, that I got, I got these off of Amazon.com, and they come with a couple of different inserts. There's a kind of a rubber gasket and there's this plastic, uh, I guess, kind of holder that, that can go in the back. I'm using the, uh, the little rubber one that's, uh, you just kind of slide it onto the back. And this was made for the, uh, the two and three eighths inch hole that I did. So all I have to do is just kind of pop this in. That's the perfect fit. And then I've got two more. I've got my, uh, I've got my barometer. And last but not least, my hygrometer in there okay looks great so uh, this was an easy project you can easily do it in an afternoon um, if you want to see more pictures and information as well as some links of where I found these at uh, check out my website at woodlogger.com